Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on New Woodshire. I'm out flying my drone this morning and I figured I'd give y'all a kind of brief detail of what I've been doing and if y'all knew, welcome to the series. Um, and for those that are just returning from yesterday's episode, folks, I've been doing a lot of tree cutting. As you can tell. I think I got 1.2 hours on the John Deere scorpion type deal thing. Tree harvester. And yeah. As you can see right here. Straight shot down to here. Back up that way and over. Going to extend this spill out just a little bit more. And I think the rest of this we're just going to make probably a grass field, maybe. But, um, <laughs> these people here said, uh-uh, that's not your land right here. It's kind of weird, folks, how the property goes. But those two trees and what is it, three trees over here is their property. So I can't touch them. Um, there are markers on the ground, but I, I kind of ran over them. But anyway, um, I figured I'd come in and give y'all just a little bit of show of what's going on here and show you what the, that daggum thing over there. Oof, I don't like it. Uh, the view just ain't there for me, but this is what I got left, so I figured I'd do some of it. So y'all won't get mad at me. I'll fly my drone back over here and we'll get cutting some. Mm, oop, oop, almost rough landing. Alright, um got 1.4 hours on it. Oh wow. And as you can see, I'm in the hole almost seven thousand dollars. 6961 to be exact is 1910. Well, what is that? 7 7 10 p.m. I believe. I think I'm not good with army time anyway. This thing's running, so let me uh get busy here. This is the part I hate with it. I noticed in 19. It's a little bit harder to see some of the trees because of the brush. Yeah. But it, it cuts them good. It, it's just the, the, the back end of this thing. See how shaky it is? Other than that, I guess it's okay. I've uh, been cutting these to 8 meters. And these little pieces like this, yes, I've been just taking them over here. We're going to make wood ch chips out of them. I started to say wood chunks. Oh, folks, there's a lot of stumps. Lots of stumps we got to deal with. But we'll get it. It just a little bit at time is all we can do. Um. I found this is kind of the best way to see how to cut them. Uh, I'm in these little bitty ones right here, and it's just very time consuming. I got six tenths of an hour that I, I want to get finished within two hours, in other words, of having this thing so the lease won't be that bad. Now, as far as uh, we do have, if you've seen the drone shots, the, the truck is loaded somewhat. Could use a little bit more on the tail end, but now this ain't going to take time. Alright, yeah, as you can see, this is the way I like doing it. I won't. There we go. I want to get low, but not too low. I want to be able to see where all the stumps are at. Uh, 
and trying to keep them somewhat in a pile. It's kind of hard sometimes where this thing slings. It's just don't seem like it's like the other scorpion. Of course, I have not used the scorpion in 2019 that I can remember anyway. Um, Ravenport, uh, I, if I used it, I can't remember it. If y'all want to you can check out my playlist on Ravenport, I, I just can't remember. I think I used the Big Daddy Bronx on most of those trees. As long as I lift it up kind of fast when I cut it, it usually falls the way I want. But these bigger ones, it ain't too bad. It's the little, the, the eight mil trees they get me every time for being sloppy but these I guess would say 24 mil because I can cut them three times eight eight mil eight meters right, I just wanted to kind of give you a demonstration on this uh, not gonna bore y'all with all this whoop. Because you can see it's kind of painful to the eye, so yeah, I, I'm sorry about this painfulness. And those that love tree harvesting videos, I'm sorry. I, I, I like doing this, but I don't know. It is this Seems like it's very time consuming this time around, which I, I know it would be. All work's time consuming. Alright, we got a little one again. I'm going to take it right over here, put it with the other little baby ones. We'll just wood chip them. Right, I don't want to make this too long, so uh, I'm going to finish this up and probably get a couple of clips of selling the wood, um, and then we'll go from there, folks. Probably uh, mostly tree harvesting this video. Well, not tree harvesting, but parts of it, you know, like a couple loads selling, uh, some stump grinding, some wood chipping, and stuff like that. So I'll be back when I get the rest of these trees cut. All right, folks. That's the first load. I just hope he don't turn over. Who we got in there anyway? Uh, hillbilly farm life. Or hillbilly fam life. Excuse me. So sorry. Hey, Billy Fam Life. All right, we're gonna go over here. Um, Y'all probably like, you know, a bunch of these little ones here. They're gonna be sawdust. As you can see in the top right corner, we got rain in the forecast again. And also, ooh, it's bright this morning. Oh, cloudy back this way and bright that way. Um. I know, forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm fixing to insert the uh, night prices. You know, midnight prices. When they uh, detect the uh, wages and all that good stuff. Loan interest. Yeah, all, all that good stuff. Yeah, folks, all these little ones like this, as you can see, it's not mounting very much. And we don't get very much at the sawmill for these. So... Um, that's why I'm doing them like that. And we got all these stumps to get. Which, the, the Big Daddy Bronx, as you can see there, it works a, it works a lot better than the other wood chipper. Uh oh, still something on the ground there. Some of these tree trunks go deep under the ground. 
but it works best with a, a front loader attachment like this that way you know, get the right position just putting on the three point hitch on the tractor there it just it, it don't do this no justice if you can kind of tilt it like this it works good there we go all right i'm gonna get a little bit of these up and as soon as the truck reaches the sell point i will uh hop over there and come back in but i got a lot of stumps get up and rain's coming so uh yeah i'm gonna try to get what i can up because we gotta do some field work too so be right back all right first load i i got wondering what was taking so long and uh he got caught on the corner and yeah, that's my fault because i made the course play that way all right now first load well watching the top right corner right there Ooh, twenty nine thousand five hundred and six dollars it basically the first load paid for the scorpion king and 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 brought us ten thousand or at least it paid for the leasing costs i don't know it you know overnight and stuff but anyway that's the first load and uh we're just going to continue let's see stop the last points it was activated all right, now I'll see you back at the 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 woods. Yeah. All right, our truck's coming up over there, and I went around the trailer house. And got those. I figured I'd come over here real quick and get these. But since the truck's here, I'm gonna shut this noisy thing off. Go grab the truck. This truck's handling beautifully. Beautifully. Hey, a couple up driving it. All right. I'm going to stop driver. Let's go ahead and close this out just a little bit. Uh, we got a lot of leveling out up here. I hope this truck don't get stuck being a, a single axle. But we're going to get these out here first out on the field. I don't know if he's still out there or not, but we got J Metal 797 doing field six. It needed to be plowed. So, uh, yeah. He's doing that, and uh, we're doing this, and trying to get a little bit of field work done as we're playing with wood. All right, we're just going to hit B. I did go in on this truck, or this trailer, excuse me, on this trailer. Uh, hit all. Oh, well, I gotta do that first. Okay, um, if you go down a little bit, it says Z or Z, show loading position, and you can hit Z. And I got mine set to 4.2 meter. And what that does when you go hit B to load, it's gonna load them pretty close to the cab. That seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to turn. I'm going to have to turn and get some of them. Put the straps on. And about right there. Hit B again. I usually try to stop a little bit when they get like that and let's let them roll into place and then add some more and stop a little bit let them roll because if you don't that happens uh, come on I, I see a few with limbs on hmm, that's odd because I didn't see that when the harvester was going there's some here that probably don't even need to be on here I'm going to go ahead and try to load them anyway. Um, we got a lot of trees. I wonder if I can get that one to shake down. Oh, don't scoot backwards. I just want you to 
kind of nah. I guess it'll be alright. Go in here, turn around a little bit more. Try to get one more going here. Now this load ain't gonna cost as much. I mean, yeah, not cost, but will bring us as much because I didn't. I put I put one five mil on there, and it seemed too long. And the others was four mil. Just in case y'all wondering on that. Hit B again. Kind of let it roll down there we go don't roll off just roll down that's probably going to be way too much on there but mm, I don't know if we can get the rest of those on there kind of tall I don't know if we can get any more on the back or not let me try moving this I know it's set to 4.2 so I want probably Let's just see what that does. I'm going to hit it real quick. Uh, okay, I got to get where I got to turn a little bit more. That's why I wish with the Scorpion I could drop all of them the same way. I'll call it Scorpion. You know what I mean. Tree Harvester. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Oh, no, that ain't going to work. And that's all the way back to... 10.5 okay I'm going to set that back to 4.2 I want 4 point whoa no oh right there perfect and I, I'm not going to uh, take hit Z again it takes that off and pull up I'm going to try to go around and see whoa whoa yeah, this thing's heavy now. I could take them and cut them up and put them on the back. But I'd much rather, if I can't get them to load this time, I'm just going to stump grind them. Okay. Yeah, that worked there. One more and then we're going to go. I might have to drive this in myself. I don't know. Course play seemed to be doing a pretty good job. That is not wanting to load for some reason. Is that a limb on it? Oh, He Man strengths. Do it this way. I think this little truck's cute. It's cute. That's the one I got. There we go. Alright. And restrap. So, probably. One, two, three, four, four. Uh, four loads, maybe, give or take. All right, I'm going to send this guy on, and when he gets, whoa. I don't want to bore y'all with the stump grinding, because that's, that's pretty boring, or at least it is to me. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Drive course. Stop at the trigger. And what I was doing wrong when I was kept on trying to turn around, I was on this side and letting it drive, and I should have been on the other side, closest to this side, because it was trying to take this course line. If I do this, you'll see what I'm talking about. See how there's two lines. This line here is coming back, and this line here is going. So that's why he was doing that. All right. I'll see you at the next sell point. All right. We got our second load here. And we got... Ooh, $22,063. Giving us $32,000. Uh-oh. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. 
Oh, I gotta stop driver first. Doing. Yeah, now, let, now let's see what we got. 2,390, 35,000. Pretty good, pretty good. It might pay off, folks. It just might pay off. All right, drive course and do that. Be right back. All right, folks, we are loading up on load number three. And it's a doozy. It's a doozy. I, I just had to max it out. I, I think I probably could get one or two more on there. But yeah. All right. Top right corner. Won't be where the money's at. Here we go. Really? $35,347. Why? I don't know. There they go. Just, just have to move it every time. I don't know why. I guess it's too tall. I won't accept it. Uh, $2,170. Bringing us a, a whopping $71,000 or $71,004 to be exact. Ah, <sighs> folks. And we still got a lot to go. We got a lot to go. We might be able to get that filled if we keep going this route. All right. Be back in a minute. All right. I, I believe this is load four. I kind of done lost count. There should be one more load left after this. And, and here we go again, folks. Oh, come on. Uh, 27,913. I'm happy for that, but these logs on top. All I gotta do is pull forward a little bit. No, fall. Okay. 99,709 dollars, folks. Ooh, we're so close. Hopefully this next load will do it. So I will be back one more time. All right, folks, this is the last load, or at least last load for now. And you're probably going to be like, wow. Really? Last load? Is that all? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all, folks. Uh, not all for this episode. Not yet. I'm going to show you all what the finishing look looks like. But since I have a problem unloading this thing, Oh, it would fall on that side. Um, I'm going to swap sides real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to do it this way. See if it does that big one. Look how long that big one is. Oh, it did it. Awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go sell all this. Should get a bonus for unloading it, right? Uh, better turn my back on there we go we're at 99,696 and this load's gonna bring us $19,002 bring us to 118,698 folks oh so close so close uh wrong screen what's it gonna be all uh let's go right here I don't know how much, I can't remember how much this field was. 157. Oh, we're so close. We got some wood chips. We got some wood chips. Let me go uh, sell them real quick, folks. Or let me go get them situated. And while I'm up there, we'll uh, show you around. I, I guess uh, I can just do it this way. I'm going to put this guy to drive course stop at the last and of course I got the plow right here we want to mow this first let me get see if my drone is functionable uh, close all that out uh, fly mode look folks no trees no trees at all I even got the stumps I think I don't see none offhand. 
I, I don't see none offhand. We got the one on this side of the trailer. They're like, can you cut that in for us? I'm like, sure. I thought you didn't want me to cut them. Well, this, that one. I'm like, okay. More money for me. A free tree. But everything is looking good. I wish I could go into Giant's Editor and I would get rid of this pile of wood here. I even tried to stump grind it to see if it would work, but I couldn't get it to do anything, so... Well, anyway, uh, our grass field is ready. So we're going to mow this section here, or try to. It's kind of lumpy on this side. Might just mow that and this. And uh, we'll probably bail that up. I'm not for sure. Then again, we might just uh, take it loose and put it in the silo. But folks, um, let me sell the wood chips. Well, I don't even know where my tractor's at. Um, I did cut down a tree right here that was standing. So I got rid of it. Our sheep's going to need another pallet here pretty soon. But here's our mower that's going to be used in the next episode. And I also was going to use it in this episode, but this one's getting kind of long. Mostly about wood, so I'll stream a little about woods. Yeah. All right, there's our tractor right there. Let's take a look at the horses. Doing pretty good. I got two hay bales there. So we're doing good for them and straw bales there, but I need a shredder for them. All right, drone down. Ooh. Getting here. Oh, I don't want to pipe out. I mean, in. But as you can see, we got 70,133 wood chips here. I want to. Da, 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 da. I want to swap the truck out, put this on the trailer. And then we're going to go sell the wood chips. So I'll be right back in a second when I get up there. All right. I'll be right back. Wow. I almost forget to hit the record button, folks. I done sold some. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I'm not recording. All right. We're in 123 going up. Is that it? It should be it. What's in the tipper? Hopefully. Let me raise this thing up. But yeah, that's it. Still not quite enough. 1696. Uh, I think it's 157, wasn't it? 157. Ah, I can do more wood chips. Might be a lot more trees. I ain't got that many more trees left to go. Hmm. I don't know. If I ain't done it yet, I'm going to... Uh, did I do that already? If I got some midnight prices, I'll put them in now. If there's any of the the uh, loan interest, I'll put that in. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to come up with any more money, folks. We, we can... Let me talk to my lawyer and I'll be uh, right back. Not lawyer, but banker. Yeah, I'll be right back, folks. All right, I talked to my lawyer. He said we can borrow. And how uh, would I keep saying lawyer? I talked to my banker and he said since it's a field, we can go ahead and borrow that since we got that much. Uh, but we really need to concentrate on getting the loan paid back before we do anything else um just the really is it's it's a time limit on the loan but it, it's not a time limit you know what i mean it's kind of like just courtesy we need to pay it back as soon as possible oh i'm getting wet i'm getting wet i'm getting wet oh oh there's still a few drops coming in but it's a whole lot better, folks. It's raining out there, not raining in here. But well, we needed the rain, but I just wish we could have got the 
the grass and stuff mowed first. Um, I guess this is going to conclude it for this episode. Since it's raining, you know, I'm not going to be uh, I like the others and do work in the rain. We'll, we'll let the rain bypass and then we'll come back. Ooh, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Could y'all hear that? There's like thunder. There's a, my other guy. I gotta get him stopped. Bring him in here. But folks, I appreciate y'all coming by. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all are awesome. Don't forget that. Uh, be sure and go down below in the description and check out all the links. And all the way down to the bottom if you want to. Um, if you can, I'm trying to save up for the computer. If you can spare a dollar or something, uh, I got a PayPal account. Um, you don't have to, but it would help. Y'all ever seen that? No, the commercial. The guy that says, uh oh, Instagram. Uh, the wheels are round, so they roll easier. They don't have to be round. But it helps. I love that. But anyway, folks, <laughs> like I said, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, subscribe, like, share, and I'll we'll see y'all in the next episode. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'm out of here, folks. <laughs>